Hello there, this is Dr. Lee Zeitz and I'd like to share with you how you can use the, your portfolio to submit your personal learning network assignment. Now, what you will be doing, and you've already started your portfolio, and it may look something like this. Hopefully there's more information on it than this one. You're going to have something about where you're going to be talking about who you are, why you're going to be a teacher, and what you hope to achieve through teaching. And you'll have a little picture of, your, or a picture of yourself, professional picture of yourself up here. And this material will all be gone. These are directions just for your convenience. Anyway, <clears throat> so you have this first page, which is the introduction. You then have an artifacts matrix. And this is where you will be listing your artifacts and the standards that they will be addressing. But for today, what really counts is that you will go to an artifact page like this one, number four. I'm using this one because it's blank. You notice that on artifact page number four, it has a title for it. In this case, we're going to be calling it the Personal Learning Network. Down here, you're going to do a description. we are going to explain what it is. Uh, the subject areas, intended learners, and, and objectives, we don't have to worry about right now. But you'll also notice that there are standards connections. In other words, it, we identify standards, that the INTAS standards that um, are addressed here. And you'll remember that it was standard 9 and 10. That this is where we put our reflections. And then down here is where we're going to put links to the pages that will that show what we've been doing in our personal learning network. Okay, let's go take a look. I've, I've done this on artifact number 3. And whether you do artifact number 3 or artifact number 4 doesn't matter. But that should probably be where you are. So you'll notice I started out here and I said that the title is a PLN personal learning network. The description, now I described it like this, this activity engaged me in creating my own personal learning network. It involved actively working in social media. This networking opportunity involved Twitter, Pinterest, and Symbaloo. I created accounts for each tool and then tweeted, pinned, or Symbaloo comments and educational resources to share with my colleagues. I needed to identify the tweets with hashtag UNIETD. So in other words, this is the description. As I said, don't worry too much about subject areas, intended learners, related instructional objectives, or how this artifact supports the related instructional object objectives at this point. Now at this point, <clears throat> we talk about the standards connection. Remember that there was a list of the standards 1 through 10? Well, I got rid of 1 through 8 because they didn't count. They, they didn't apply to this one. This one says that number nine is professional learning and ethical practice. And now what I did is I explained, it said this activity addresses address the engages an ongoing professional learning component of standard nine because it requires me to connect with others as I build my PLN. It is through this type of interchange that I will learn to better adapt my practice to meet the needs of each learner. And then I did the same thing with number 10. Now how did I put this information in? Oh, and down here at the bottom is where I had these these links that came from um, my my three areas, Twitter, Pinterest, and Symbaloo. So how did I go about doing this? Well, first thing I did is I went up and I clicked on this button right here, which is the edit page. I'll click on that one. And now I'm in an editing mode. At this point, I could type a PLN again if I wanted to, but I don't need to. I can type the uh, title up here. This is where I can add or change the description. Oops, I guess I need a period out here, don't I? And then down here is where I would delete those other um, standards. And then I have standard 9 and standard 10. And then over here <clears throat> is where I have my different links to the different pages. Now, You'll remember that how to get to these uh, links and these pages is all explained on the um, PLN description page. But like this one is, is for Twitter. And if I go out and I go to slash Zeitz, <clears throat> this will show me, um, this will take me to my Twitter page. And so what you need to do is you need to copy that address and we'll copy it and then I'll go back to that page and then this is where I would copy and paste that Twitter page 
right there. Now, I have the link here, but I also need to go over here and I need to, <clears throat> I can either click on this one, or I can go up here and click on this link right here, and that will turn it into, oops, it undid it. Now I'll go up here and click on it again, and it will do it. So now I have a link that's on here. And you need to do that for each of these three. Okay, is that clear? And then what should happen is you go up and you click on the Save button. And once you've clicked on the Save button, it now opens this up. And this is the page you need to submit. Now, how do you submit this? Now, remember, you've got this address up here. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to copy that address. That's the one that would go directly to this Artifact 3, and that's all that you're going to be submitting. Over in Blackboard Learn, oops, I better get in there. If I go to EDD, that's our, our class, you will see that um, if I go down to Labs, and I scroll down to this very first one, which is Personal Learning Network. And I scroll down even further. Down here is Submission. And for this semester, it's due April 1st. If you're watching this in a different semester, it may be a different date. But pay attention. Okay? So I'm going to click on this Submission. And in here is where I do the submission. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to write the submission. You click down here, and you can say something like, this is my submission for the PLN. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, you know, it's always good to put a couple comments there. And then what we do is we right-click on it, and we paste that link that we had. Now, do me a favor, highlight that link, and click on the link button up here. And then put the link in again. Tell it to open it up in a new window. And insert it. So notice what we did. You want to make it so it's hot, because it will make it easier for us to grade it. So what you do is you highlight it, you click the link button, you go out here, you paste it here, you open a new window, and then you update it or submit it. And that's what we do. We go down here to the little button down here, we hit submit. And we will, that, that, we hit submit again. And with that, we have the submission done. So, um, I hope things go well with you. I uh, will be looking forward to seeing the submissions you have, and whether it's coming to me or any of your professors. Please contact us if you have any issues. Thank you very much, and I hope that this has been useful.